Good rising, everyone. My name is Mickey. I am back today with another piece of poetry. Um, this is Poetry with a Purpose. I'm going to be talking about thoughts and words today. And I wrote a poem actually November of last year. And I actually got up early this um, this morning and I revised it. And I entitled it Thoughts and Words. Let me give you a little bit of it. And then afterwards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the reason I wrote it and elaborate on it a little more in depth. Okay, so here we go. It says, we spend time learning a system that won't defend us and close our eyes to what was once so spiritually robust. They say that the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And if it's not used, you will never experience the taste. Our thoughts and words dismember people without touch not realizing they can feel your energy just as much. I'm going to speak on words today and how we need to change the way that we think with our words. Um, I started pondering ownership. The definition of ownership is the act, the state the right of possessing something. Okay. When we say things like my house, my car, my shirt, my coat, that's possession. So when we, when we use, we own that. So when we use words like my diabetes, my arthritis, my, um, Glaucoma, my, those things, those things, those are things that I have problems with. Those words. You don't want to claim sickness upon your body. You don't have to say my. You can say the or it, not my. That those, those, those words when you consider it my, you're claiming it, you're owning it, you're taking ownership to it. So change the way that you think, change the words that you say. And you know, I always give you scripture. So Romans 12, 2 states, I'm reading from an NIV version, which is a new NLT version, which is a new living translation. Okay. So Romans 12, 2 says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new will to learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of God is saying, be not conformed to the ways of the world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind. Change your words. Words are spirits. Words are Words, once they are released out of your mouth, they are a spirit. And they have to go do that which it is sent to do. So change the way that you think. Change your words up, my people. Change your words. Uh, life, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So therefore, you want to speak life. You want to speak life, not death. Life. I am rising. I am this. I am that. I am Becoming a new. I am a new creation. I am a new creation in Christ. You want to change your words. Words are powerful. And they are and will do that which it is sent to do. Okay, so. um, Okay, so like I said before. Blessings and curses. Blessings, not curses. 
joy, not sorrow. Love, joy, peace, happiness, fruits of the spirit. You want to speak life over everything that you do. Speak life over your children. Speak life over your job. Speak life over everything that you have in your possession. Speak life. Because we are not dead. We are alive. Thou shalt not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. You do not want to speak death over your situation. You speak life. Whatever the devil tries to put before you that is bad, God will turn it around for the good. You have to continue to encourage yourself. You got to encourage yourself. You got to inspire yourself. You got to speak life over yourself and your loved ones. Your words and thoughts affect your whole body. So if you're speaking positive words, then your vibration your energy is high and you want to remain in that state you want to remain constant so then when you are speaking negative then your energy is low the vibration is low then comes depression then comes anxiety then comes oppression then comes suppression okay so none of those are are of god they're contrary to the will of god so you want to speak life, speak life, not death, life, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So as you go about your day, listen to what you're saying to yourself and to others. Listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. Encourage you, inspire you so that everything that's on the inside that is good can be and can re be released outwardly so that it can go to um another person and they can experience uh of that joy that you have on the inside of you that you're speaking of the life that you are speaking of yes so don't give life to dead situations don't do that a virus is dead a virus is dead. It doesn't live until it comes in contact with the body. A virus is dead. So do not give life to dead situations. Do not give it energy. Do not speak to it. Do not give it no kind of energy. Consider it what it is. And that is dead to the pits of hell from which it come. My people, we are blessed. We are blessed. We ought to take our rightful stands in the earth. We are blessed. We are kings and queens. We are blessed. We are the original man, the original woman. We are kings and queens in the earth, my people. I trust God for everything. I trust him for everything. I trust him with my life. My people, speak life. Speak life over your children, over your loved ones. If anything that you have in your possession, I don't care what the media is saying. I don't care what the neighbor down the street is saying. I don't care what someone at a local grocery store is saying. You speak life. You change your words. You change your thinking. You do your part. And God definitely will show up on him, up on his part. He'll show. He'll stand behind his word. That's what he does. He'll stand behind his word. You remind him of his word and he'll stand behind it. Speak life, my people. Speak life. Rise. Don't be too anxious to go back out and, and, and get into a bunch of nonsense. Continue to stay on your ground. Continue to, to, to write, to read, to work out your plans. Continue to do what you were doing in this down season. Because this was preparation season. This was time for us to get things in order. This was time for us to get close to God. This is time. He's given us time. His grace and, and mercy is sufficient. <laughs> 
It endures, y'all. His grace and mercy is sufficient. His love endures forever. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him. <laughs> They're called according to his purpose. My people, speak life. Speak life, my people. This is my poetry time. I love you guys. I'll come back a little later with some more things. And if you like my poetry time, please do share. Please do. And um, I will write um, and post my poetry so that you can get a better understanding of what I'm saying. Because some people like to read, whereas others like to listen. But I can do both for you guys if that's what you like. But I want you to have a blessed day in the Lord. Continue to stay safe. Continue to trust God. And everything will be all right because we, we, are, pushed, we are pushing through. I speak that in advance. Have a blessed and wonderful day.